This week, I'm gonna show you how to make a cotton face mask. Now, this is not my pattern. I got this from Erin Robertson, and I will link her original pattern below. So to start off, we are going to need two pieces of five inch by seven inch basic cotton fabric, and you're gonna go ahead and on the long side, fold over about a half an inch and press it. Then we're gonna go ahead and sew that down. And I'm using embellished matte thread just in this ivory color because it's very strong and durable and this is my go-to thread. We're gonna do that to both of the pieces. Now we're gonna take our fun patterned print in nine inches by seven inches and we're gonna go ahead and lay those two little pieces long ways centered right sides together. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the seams we just sewed on are in the middle. Both of them are in the middle. This is what is going to create our filter pocket later on. It's kind of like sewing a pillow where you can open it in the back. Then we're gonna go ahead and open it up and press it with the seam laying flat and then flip it over and press it back again. And I'm using my little mini steam iron. And then you're gonna see here that the little pockets are going to overlap. That is what we want. You want there to be a little overlap there. So this pocket that's facing up is gonna to point towards the top of our mask, and this is very important. So I know that because my flap is on top and it's facing up, that is the top of my mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and just iron it one more time, get it nice and crisp, and then we are going to begin pleating. So I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm gonna fold it about an inch down and then fold it up about an eighth to a quarter of an inch just kind of smooth it out with my hands. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blast over it with my steam iron. Now you can do this with pins. At this point, I've been making a lot of masks, so I'm just doing it this way because it's more simple. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab that fabric again. Don't grab the bottom pocket yet. And we're gonna make another pleat, trying to make them the same size. And we're gonna iron over that and press it down firmly. Then we're gonna grab all of the fabric this time, even that back little pocket that's facing up, and you're gonna do your third and final pleat. Now I like to kind of center this almost so that the bottom looks like another pleat the same size. In here it's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And you're just gonna go ahead and press down all the pleats, making sure that they are firmly down, and I just like to smooth them over with my hands. And you can see what I do here is I take that little back piece out because we don't want it sandwiched in between there. And I just fold it over itself on top of that little piece, if that makes sense. And just press it lightly to keep it in place. This is a tip that I found after making a bunch. When I wasn't doing that, it was harder to get a filter in the pocket in the back. Now we're going to go ahead and sew down. And you're going to want to sew with the pleats, not against them. So sew from top to bottom on both sides and I'm not back stitching here yet because it takes longer when you're making multiple masks at a time which is what I've been doing so here I'm just gonna fold over that raw edge once about a quarter of an inch then fold it over again on itself about a half an inch sorry you can't really see that there then you're just gonna go ahead and sew as close to the edge as you can leaving about an eighth of an inch seam allowance because you want it big enough to be able to slip your elastic through when we're done. So make sure you do backstitch on this part, even if you are making a lot in bulk. This is what is going to make sure nothing comes loose, everything is really being held in place here, and you're catching that little pocket when you, once you do this step and fold over the edges. And you're gonna go ahead and repeat that process with the other side, and I like to sew down with the pleats again. I'm not sewing against them, I'm going with them because it's a little bit easier. Then I'm gonna use my embellished applique scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and trim all of my threads here, make it look nice and pretty. And I like that the scissors kind of have a similar floral pattern to the fabric that I chose. So here's my mask, you can see the pleats, you can see how I sew down the edges and how it expands when you pull it out to fit your face. And in the back, this is the little filter pocket here. And now it's time for the elastic. So I didn't have a yarn needle, but you can use a yarn needle. I have this tool, I'm not sure what it is, but it's for tires apparently. 
and it works just as well. So you're gonna take your tool, whatever it is, and I also tried this using a bobby pin and it worked as well. Um, and just scrunch it up there and once you get the little hole, stick a tiny bit of elastic through and pull it down, being careful not to pull it all the way out. And you're gonna repeat that to the other side. And I'm using about a quarter of an inch knitted elastic here. You can also use an eighth of an inch, which is very tiny, but still works the same. Then once I have these elastics, I am just making it easier on myself. And I'm going to go ahead and do a nice, simple knot over and under itself. And make sure you go ahead and pull that really tightly so it doesn't come out. And you're going to repeat that again to the other side. I like stringing the elastic all the way through because I feel like it gives the mask a chance to fit your face better since it kind of scrunches up the whole thing when you wear it. Once you're done knotting it, just take your scissors and go ahead and snip the ends. Then we're going to take the elastic and just kind of maneuver it so the knot is on the inside of the mask so you won't see it. And if you want to, you can add a little stitch at the top and the bottom to keep it in place so it doesn't come out. And there is our finished mask.